I recently went to Spain to go on a location scout for a new short film that I'm working on. A location scout is when you go find locations that you will be filming at, and this helps you start to visualize the project, and it helps you start creating logistical plans to make the project happen. So in this video, I'm going to take you along on this location scout. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the project. I'm going to share how you can get involved if you're interested. And finally, make sure you stick around all the way until the end to see some bonus footage of me playing with baby goats. One of the things you do when you're scouting is also look for locations like crew hotels and possible base camps. We got a big parking lot right here that could possibly work which also has a restaurant next door, so that's perfect for us. Right here, it was a little windy and rainy. When we come back, it'll probably be a lot warmer and sunnier and hotter during the shoot. Our short film is called Don't Be Afraid. It's being co-directed by Eric Howell and Marta Milans, who you will see throughout this video. And I have joined the producing team led by Jillian Nodland and Amy Matthews. The film is about a couple that is in an unhealthy relationship and it explores how damaging emotional and mental abuse are and ultimately reminds us how important self-worth and self-love are. So I'm in this hotel testing it out because the crew will be staying here during the shoot, so we want to make sure everyone is comfortable. Here's my, my room, and my view is pretty great. It's not every day that you get to wake up and look out onto a beautiful Spanish town. A large part of the film takes place on a road, so my first morning we went out to look for some roads that would fit the story and aesthetic that we're going for. When you're on a scout, you might try to get some specific examples of shots that you want in the film, but we don't have the same equipment that we will have here on the day, so we use our iPhones. We're testing out the car mount. Would you trust your phone on that? <laughs> I got the insurance policy for the phone, so I think we're good. <laughs> Let's use your phone just in case. Yeah, exactly. Right? So here you can see an example of some of those shots where I am standing in for one of our actresses. Later in the afternoon, we found these amazing windmills that we hoped to shoot at, and I took out my drone and was able to get some test footage of what some of our shots could look like. Lulu. Lulu wants to know if we brought her anything. <laughs> All right, it's my second morning here. Just jumped in the shower, gonna try to get some breakfast. And today we are going to scout some beaches. So I'm just packing up my stuff and waiting for Eric and Marta to get here so we can get on the road. When scouting in Spain, you come across magical, magical things. Wow. A bit of a treacherous trek to this location, but how beautiful. How do you feel about this one? I think you have to come down by, by rope. I don't think you can shake this. Yeah. Okay, now imagine that with cameras and actors and so. So this location is stunning, but unfortunately the access is a little bit difficult. 
We want to use this film to help men and women around the world who may find themselves in an unhealthy relationship or who are maybe not quite sure whether the things they are experiencing in their relationship are normal or not. We want to start conversations about mental health and emotional abuse in relationships and ultimately be a catalyst for people to love themselves so they can be in healthy relationships. Lighting-wise, I think this may be a better location because of the position of the sun, which is not out right now, but it hopefully will be when we're shooting. It is still raining now, so we're gonna stop and have some lunch right here. All right, we have been, we have been fed and we're heading down to check out this beach. The access already looks a lot easier to get equipment down there. In the description of this video below, there is a link to the Film North website, which is accepting donations for our project. Film North is a 501c3, meaning that any contributions are considered a charitable donation by the IRS. And I will keep the link below updated to let you know whether we are still looking for funds or not. If by the time you see this, we have completed the film, I will include the link to the completed film below as well and please feel free to share it with anyone who you think could benefit from watching it and if you have any comments or questions please leave them below and I will do my best to respond to them. Thank you for watching. We're, we're taking a little break from our scout to visit some baby goats. These are, what are they, a day old, she said? Day, uh, yeah, these are like a day old. I think this guy over here is really young Sorry. behind you. This guy right here. Mm. Look at him. Oh. Oh, hello. They all like you. I'm, I'm the goat whisperer. <laughs>